हेलो टीम गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल वेलकम टू आवर मेन फ्रेम क्लास सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द जीओ एस दैट इज एस एम पी सो हियर विल डिस्कस वट इज एस एम पी हाउ एस एम पी वर्क वट इज हैपनिंग इन एस एम पी ऑल्सो विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द थ्री जोन दैट इज ग्लोबल जोन टारगेट जोन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जोन also we need to understand the concept of sys mode and there are four types of sys mode so here we'll discuss all these types of sys mode that is ptf function a part and user mode so this is going to very important concept in the gos so please like share and subscribe this channel and thank you again all welcome to this channel let's start with today's topic so what is smp so system modification program extended is the actual form of smp so smp is the basic tool for installing and maintaining software in a gos system and subsystem also it can be used to install and service any software that is packed in smp system modification format that is sysmod so upcoming slide will discuss about the sysmod and the ptf and all so smp is an integral part of installation service and maintenance process that means it can be run either a batch job or using dialog under the interactive system productivity facility that is ispf and pds that means program development facility so our next topic is what is happening in smp and why we use it so smp is the application that's only available in the mainframe gos and os 390 but it is not available for vm and linux unix and all next thing it is the independent software vendor product and we use smp through to bring up the system for installation you will install the product after smp process you will get your runtime library to install the product after all this process so installation we will use the smp also it is fix a problem with a product at that time we can use it's also track the installation defined chains and all so in smp we always talk about three zones first one is the global zone so each smp data set contains a single global zone and this zone is an index to its associate target and distribution zone in the smp data set also it's contain the entries that describe the changes waiting to be installed and system utilities so actual receive is happening in the global zone next one is the target zone so target zone each csi can have multiple target zone and uh, this zone contains entries that describe the content and construction of target libraries target libraries contains the executable programs that make up the system component and program product so this target zone is the runnable copy last one is the distribution zone so distribution zone each csi can have the multiple distribution zone so this zones describe the content of distribution library and uh, that contains the master copy of all component of the operating system that are used for example to restore target library when maintenance was improperly applied at that time we can use the distribution zone let's come up to this picture so here first is the csi so we need to understand why csi and what is interconnected between the distribution zone to csi global zone to csi and target libraries to csi so csi that means the consolidated software inventory when we talk about global structure so global structure it's a consolidated software inventory describes the target and distribution zone that for the processing the options and its status of work is progress that thing next is the csi with the target zone so it's describe the executable 
executables are uh, defined here and uh, run runtime library is there so next one is the distribution zone so csi have the describe the modules that means programs subroutines there is the some libraries like uh, dd ef libraries samples or other text members and all 